Good evening, everyone. My name's C Task. It's Cool Prime, and welcome back to another Lumber Tycoon 2 video. So, um, during the live stream, I actually went and got some of the blue wood. So we are able to go in and do the blue wood now. That's that's great. Um, oh no, I don't want to destroy. What are you doing? But we need to put it back into its current, uh, its correct perspective, its correct sizes. Which would be 1.2 by 1. Um, that way we don't have crazy stuff happening. And I'm going to get rid of these real quick. I realized that having them there is dangerous until I have the wood ready. Prepared. Otherwise you get an entire log that like drops down like that. But, happy Monday. I know a lot of people won't say that to you. A lot, a lot of people are like, ah, oh, it's Monday, poop. Um, not me. I'm going to say happy Monday, and uh, I hope you have a wonderful week, because, uh, yeah, Super Bowl was yesterday, or today. It was tonight. Oh, uh, I guess I should probably know who won, but I don't. <laughs> so I am probably going to go and look it up. Uh, in fact, I just did in that little blip that you just saw. That was me looking up the scores. It's a, cra a crazy how, um, you know, video editing or pausing or whatever you want to call that kind of works. Uh, and congratulations to the Buccaneers. Yes, the Kansas City Chiefs are um, supposed to be my team. But you know what? I don't watch sports. I'm not a big sports fan. Uh, I will have to go and watch, like, the, the halftime event and stuff like that. But... It was much different this year. I guess there was only like one third of the entire stadium was actually fill, filled, and everybody else was a cardboard cutout. What? That's that's kind of crazy. That's crazy. Um, you know, we got a pandemic going on. You gotta be safe and all that. But that's that's okay. That it's still. It's fine. I want to say it's fine. You know, it's okay to say you're scared. And it's okay to say it's not fine. This is this is ridiculous that we have so many people who are still catching COVID. There's we still have so many people who are still not wearing masks. And it's not just in the US. It's not just us. There are tons of countries all having the same problem so i really i wish it were like oh it's an american right to not wear a mask it's it's starting to become an entire world thing like people <sighs> how do i explain it i mean honestly how do i explain to someone that if you wear a mask and you don't cover your nose, it doesn't work. You you have to cover your face. That's how the respiratory system works. Better yet, why don't you know that? I don't know. It, it kind of makes me sad. It makes me sad that there's so many people in the world who are not willing to come together and to stop this thing, you know? We as human beings are smart, okay? The individual person, you, sitting there by yourself, brilliant, you're smart, you're wonderful, you're awesome. You have the ability to think for yourself and make rational decisions about things. But then when it comes to social media and when it comes to mass people, and I'm gonna say this, I hope it doesn't insult anybody, but you know what? People as a whole, as a group of people, are idiots. They're idiots. Okay? And I, I would be included in that too. If I were in part of a group or a mass of um, people, and not sitting here on my own individuality, we're, we're dumb. We take into consideration unrational ideas and thoughts from the internet. And we start to perceive those things as truths, or we start to rationalize those things as being something of truth. And what I mean by that is, um, the 
false information. I, I don't I don't want to say false information. The news has been saying so much that like, oh, false informative information. The the uh, How do I come up with an example? Okay. So dihydrogen oxide. Okay. In California, there was a petition that was passed around, and this is not to pick on Californians either. This is to pick on, first off, the people who conducted the, the thing, which I think were Penn and Teller, which doesn't justify it in the first place. But there was a petition that was passed around stating dihydrogen oxide was being produced by a company. It was used in the production of styrofoam, right? And they passed around a petition stating dihydrogen oxide, when consumed, will cause um, perspiration, was, will cause people to urinate. Um, it was causing, it, it was getting leaked into the ground. It was causing people to, to um, like if you, if you had excessive amounts of it inside your body, then it was causing you to urinate all the time. I already said urinate, didn't I? Um, they, they were finding it in baby food. They were finding it in um, in the ground. Uh, they found some of it like actually vaporized in the air and stuff like that, dihydrogen oxide. And they passed around this petition to get dihydrogen oxide removed from the production of styrofoam, right? And all these people who signed the petition didn't realize dihydrogen oxide think about it dihydrogen right two di meaning two two hydrogen oxide one oxygen h2o aka water they got water banned from the production of styrofoam by a petition It's, it seems that there are things in this world that we, we just, you look at and you're like, really? What happened? I don't know. I, I feel like the world, the world's going to be okay. We should be fine. Stuff should return to a normal. And I know that the, the media terms like, well, it's a different normal. I don't care. It's going to be no more lockdowns. It's going to be back to a normal phase of like able to go and do things, but we might still be wearing masks. You know what? In Japan and I think in some parts of China, wearing a mask all the time, that was a normal thing, you know, because of pollution. That shouldn't be a normal thing. It shouldn't be a normal thing to wear a mask. Um, it's 2021. Why don't we have electric cars all over the place? Well, apparently, um, <clears throat> with this new president, with Biden, he's going to try and push for all electric cars. Woohoo! Yay! The first person to like push this hard to like transfer everyone over. And apparently, GM, one of the companies, uh, I don't know, is it GM? One of the car companies or something is going to push to start producing. Um, zero fuel cars by like 30 years from now or something. It's great. We've been warned that like if we don't start changing the way our pollution works with us putting out so much H or so much carbon monoxide, carbon dioxide into the, I guess it's not carbon dioxide, carbon monoxide into the air, it's going to be late. And in fact, we were told by Bill Nye, the science guy, like we have 12 years to change our ways or something like that. 12 years. Is it too late for us? I don't know. Is there something I can do to help? Not really. I'm one person. Should I feel bad about it? Yeah, probably. Because I'm part of the human race. But here's the cool thing. Here's what I see. Love each other. Forgive each other. And do your best to be a good person. That's all we can do. I mean, that's, that's, it's li literally like the main rules of my, my discord. Rule one, be nice. 
Rule two, don't be evil. <laughs> now, that's a, that's a little bit of a stipulation because you can't really determine what is or is not evil in comparison, but I mean, for the most part, if you do something and you do, your conscious is like, that was a good thing, then it's probably not evil. But I mean, there's, there's some people out there who would be like, I punch you in the face, and that's a good thing. That, ah, well. So, it's a bit of an open-ended rule on that one. And being nice, that one's a given. No matter what somebody's race is, no matter what somebody's um, color, religion, what sex they are, are they a boy or a girl? Are they transgender? Do they identify as transgender? What's, it doesn't matter. Be nice to them. And if everyone in the world was nice to one another, I think a lot of this world's problems would go away. Just be nice, you know? Why do you have war? Well, usually over resources. Usually it's, it's over something stupid, you know? I mean, we have plenty of resources. Something that I can see becoming a, a low commodity or a low, a low resource? Fuel. What am I doing? I was doing something today. What was I, what was I going to do? Oh, that's right. We need Goldwood and uh, something else. We need Goldwood and zombie wood. So there's, there's two woods that we have not gotten from the main island yet. So, I'll see if I can get it within four minutes. Are we doing a 15 minute episode today, Steven? Steven, what's on the agenda, 15 or 30? 30? Oh, okay. Sorry, right. my apologies. We, we have um, 32 minutes left. 30, 34, 38, 30? <clears throat> no. Half would be 15, so that'd be 15 and 15. 16, 17. So we got 17 minutes? 18 minutes. It, we'll, we'll, just, we'll just round it up and say a good 18 minutes left. Um, that should be plenty of time for us to go up the back way here and uh, get to the place that we want to go. Oh gosh, this is like really hard to see. Oh my gosh, that was like right next to my face. Oh, ouchie. Oh, did I say that the, the Buccaneers won? I, I did, I did. I looked it up. I even paused it for it. So, we're good. We are good. <clears throat> um, I wanted to be clear about something because it's something that I don't normally talk about and it's something that you guys probably already knew, but I'm going to say it out loud because I feel like I need to speak it with the mouth. I feel like I need to inform you. I, whoa, am a Christian. I believe in God and I believe in the teachings of Jesus. There, I said it, it's out there. Um, so whenever you hear me talking about like love everyone, forgive everyone, be nice, stuff like that, that is, that is me like Progr progressing? It's not progressing. Pronouncing? No, it's not pronouncing. P -p 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 <laughs> spreading. Spreading the word, I guess. So, I've never actually come out and said that. But I figured it would be a really good thing to let you know. Alright? And that's not to push my religion down your throat. I don't I don't care. Like if you're if you're Muslim, if you're if you believe in voodoo, if you're Jewish whatever your belief is, okay? That's not, uh, I'm not, I'm not pushing my religion in your general direction. What I am doing is trying to give you guidelines of being a good person inside this world. That's what I want to do. I, I believe in Jesus. I'm a Christian, but you do not have to believe in Jesus or be a Christian to watch my channel and still enjoy the content. But I do want you to let you know that I, that's kind of what I'm pushing in the background here. Okay. So that's, I know. If I lose subs for that, I don't care. That's fine. But if I gain subs for that, I don't care. That's fine too. <laughs> I play video games and have fun on my own accord. And I just wanted to make sure that you guys knew, like whenever I, 
whenever I spout this stuff off, it's it's me teaching. So, well, kind kind of teaching. Oh, what am I doing now? Oh gosh, Dude, that did that did not that did not go well. All right, hold on. I need to back it up. Can we can we push this off? Okay, that's not gonna work either. So, gonna need to do another rotate rotate here. Oh, there we go. There we go. That's not exactly how I wanted it to flow down, but that's that's fine. As long as, long as it's out of my way, right? Good luck, good luck, code. Nice. Skills. Can I get a hashtag skills? <laughs> Plenty of time. We're, we're doing great. Um, a lot of, a lot of people who, um, who I used to go to church with and stuff, they were, and this isn't like singling out anyone. A lot of people I know they become very fanatic about their religion and that's that's them that's absolutely you go ahead and, and you do you but there's also a lot of anti-religious things a lot of anti-religious movements that have become fanatical and that's scary too like it, it's scary to go both it, it's nice to have some but like it's prevalent. It's it's abundant all over the world. And a lot of people just get mad. Oh, hold on. Can I hit B to cancel? There we go. They get mad if you don't believe the way they believe. And I don't, I don't believe in that. I believe you should be a good person no matter what. Religion's null and void. You should be you should be nice to everyone. And again, um, bullies. You know, there are some times when, when like if you're joking around with your friends or if you're calling somebody a noob, something like that. If it's in good fun, it's okay. You know, it's it's good to poke fun with your friends. But if it's a constant daily grind of somebody calling you something, or better yet, if you're calling someone something, like a noob or a name calling of some kind, that's a bully. And that's absolutely no. No, 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 no. Don't. If you're doing it right now, stop. And better yet, apologize. You know, that's one of our, our biggest things as human beings is taking responsibility and apologizing for something that we know is we're doing wrong. You know? I don't like that. I don't like taking responsibility for myself. Sometimes it just downright sucks. But you know what? You feel a lot better when you do. When, when you know you did something wrong and you're like, I'm sorry. My bad. So. I don't know where I was going with that. I just got reminded being bullied in middle school. I think it was might have been the meme like I have the power of Jesus and anime on my side. I kind of poke fun at that meme, yeah. But I mean, there's a there's a new mentality about memes as well. Like, a lot of memes are just mean. A meme should not be mean. A meme should be funny. And yeah, it it can poke fun, and you can be like, ha ha, that was that was funny. But memes that are just straight bullish, bullyish, and bullying. Mm -mm. Not good. Not good at all. Um, that's one tree, and that should be more than enough 
for me. As I swing so free with my axe and me. I rhymed all of that. You're welcome. Did that all on my own accord. I forgot my coffee. <gasps> no. No coffee means code going to be an ADHD boy. That's fine. Got no coffee at all. No coffee around these parts, sonny. Boop. Well, looks like I'm gonna go back now. Wonder, is there a simple, easy way to get down? I mean, normally I would just jump, but... Today I don't feel like picking up all the logs. I kinda just want to, uh... Hold on. We got room for this whole tree? Yeah, we, we should be fine. It's a little tree. It's a little tree. <coughs> Maybe I should try going off that, uh, that back ramp. Should we do that? Yeah, let's do that. That'll be fun. Um, that should be fine. Um, will this cover the whole thing? Yeah. Yeah, there we go. Nice. Nice. There we are. Beautiful. You stay right in there. <clears throat> stay right in there. Boom, boom. Done. We got to Greenwood, we got to Goldwood, and we go backwards now. So, um... What do we got planned this week? Um, I am going to start two new series this week, and I think I will probably drop one. Um, one that I've already started is Zelda Breath of the Wild. Now, I did one that was on live stream, I think, Friday? Was it Friday night? And I played Zelda Breath of the Wild on live stream for YouTube, Twitch, and Trovo. Um, Oh man, that was a bad fall, wasn't it? The next one that I did was just a Trovo only, and I actually joined the Discord, and that, that was actually pretty fun, but I looked back and I'm like, I didn't really do a whole bunch of talking. It was everybody inside the chat that did the talking. So I don't think I'm going to do that one again, but it was a lot of fun. Like having a live stream with you guys in, in the chat was a lot of fun, all right? But... I wanted to do like a series series. <clears throat> so that is going to be the second series or the, the new series I'm going to do is Breath of the Wild. Then on top of that, I reinstalled Subnautica Below Zero. Yes, Subnautica Below Zero will be the second series that I will be trying. Um, now I know that you guys love your lumber. All right, you love Lumber Tycoon 2. Everybody comes to Lumber Tycoon 2 and you're like, Ooh, Code, you're so amazing. Oh, you're the Lumber King. <clears throat> but that is uh, that is not going to stop. I will continue to do Lumber, but I'm going to have two series on top of it. Uh, the other thing is my Super Criminal, Super Code, uh, Super Cop series. I'm going to continue those. Um, I think what I'm going to do is on Tuesdays, instead of a Lumber, I will do uh, Super Cop on, uh, so like Monday, it'll be Lumber. Tuesday, it'll be Super Cop. Wednesday, it'll be Lumber. Thursday, it'll be Super Criminal. And Friday, it'll be Lumber. So you'll still get three days out of the week that'll be uh, Lumber, 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 Lumber. But this way it will kind of space it out so I can go and do other games, which you guys knew I did other games. Had somebody the other day in the the, uh, the comment section go, Code, when are you gonna record? Ooh. When are you gonna record your last uh, episode of Lucky's Tale? I'm like, dude, Lucky's Tale's been over for like a week. All the episodes are done. You can you can go to my uh, my playlist, and they're there. They're there. Yes, yes. I want to, I want to surpass the firewall. Hey, Merrily. Do you guys ever realize that the toll booths are on the wrong side? Come on, come on. I mean, technically speaking, if 
No, they are on the wrong side. To properly do this, you would have to have a toll booth that's in the middle. Because we sit... I guess this is American standard car. So in cars in America, you drive on the uh, left side. The right side is for passengers. So like when you go through drive throughs at uh, McDonald's and stuff, they, they always have the the speaker over here on the left. So like you say say this tree right here is the speaker. You pull up and be like, Yeah, can I get a uh, Big Mac uh, with a extra Mac sauce, Dr. Pepper to drink, and some uh, large fries? No, uh, a double... A uh, um, Big Mac with extra um, Mac sauce. Yeah, extra Mac sauce. And then could I get a, a, a Dr. Pepper to drink? Large fry? Yeah, thank you. Perfect. And then you'd like come around to the side and then you'd be on the side of the building. And you'd take your card out and try and hand it to them. But they're afraid of COVID. So then they put out the little thingy the card reader and you have to like try and figure it out and it's like a game of tetris to get your card to work and then they're looking at it and they're like it didn't work pull it out and do it again and you do that and anyhow the point being is whenever you're going through drive throughs it's all on the left hand side but if you look at this toll booth i think i just lost a piece of wood if you look at the toll booth over here on the right hand side like you if i were going to pay him i'd have to take my wallet out and then i'd have to reach way across like that just to get into to hit his booth right there. Like, they're on the wrong side. They need to be on this side or they need to be in the middle facing this direction. That way I could just, like, hear, talk. I told you guys I was gonna be ADHD. I am so sorry and I, I do apologize about the, the randomness. You know what, I don't apologize. I don't apologize one bit. In fact, I encourage it. I am I, like I have had the entire weekend to not have my medication for any kind of ADHD things, and I am loving it. It's wonderful. Oh, I just realized I don't have enough money to buy another plot, so I think that's going to be the end of the episode. No, <clears throat> we're at 27. So uh, I tell you what, I will plank these out real quick. Let's just, just get these done. Get these done and make sure that I've got enough room. We're gonna have to make some storage areas, aren't we? That sucks. Alright. Come on. Get in there. Let's go. Oh, that one needs to be cut too. Boink. There we go. Just drop it all in there. Should I expand this out and that way I'd, I would have a little bit of a conveyor belt? I, th I find it kind of pointless sometimes. To have the the conveyor belt portion at the beginning, like yeah, it's nice to have to like have a little guide and stuff. But then like if you want to move your sawmill, it's it, you have to move the whole thing, and then you break your design. I don't know. I go for functionality instead of a design. Does it function? Yeah, it's good. It's good. Hold on. Can we can we open this up? And then can we back this into a, a different spot? Uh, I just lost two pieces, that's fine. There we go. That way I can just grab. Go. Grab. Oops. Go. Grab. Go. Oh, that's gonna that's gonna be weird, isn't it? Oh yeah. Uh oh. That's the big one. That's the big piece. Oh, that'll be good. That'll cause like a little ramp for it, for the other one. That way it doesn't get stuck. Because <clears throat> these, these pieces are going to be big. There we go. Put that in. Put this one in. Nope, you fell. You fell. Nope, failed. Speaking of failed, Failed boat, making his way into, uh, what is it, 100,000 more subs? Hold on, I'm gonna go look him up real quick. Failed boat. Failed boat over on YouTube. I think I'm still subscribed, yeah. 846, 
thousand subscribers. Huge shout out. If you guys don't know who Felboat is, Felboat uh, was the gentleman that I challenged or that I uh, competed against at PAX East back uh, of March of last year. Oh, PAX, where are you? We miss you. Was it, was it March? I think it was March. Man. Almost one year ago, I was getting ready and getting prepared to go battle. In fact, uh, I would have been informed about the uh, game, Soul Calibur VI. I would have just gotten my copy of the game, and I would have been practicing. We only had about a month to practice, but I still did. I did good. I know I did good. I did. I did. I did a good, good job. I did a great job. Good job, Code. Okay, I think that's it for today. Next time we're gonna have to go and sell off a whole bunch of ice wood just so we can buy a new, new plots and make some money. So that's it for today. Thank you everyone for watching this episode of Lumber Tycoon 2 with me, Heath Haskins, Code Primate. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. Do all those cool things I'm supposed to call out at the end of the video as like a good human being, as a good YouTuber. Um, but it's your choice. If you want to, go for it. If not, that's cool too. You were here, you watched, you had fun. Love you guys for that. Stay cool, stay unique, whatever cool, awesome, motivational thing I can say here at the end. Just imagine that I said it. We'll talk to you soon. <sighs> Steven? Steven? Outro. Oh, Want some new merch? Check out teespring.com. Outro.